A group of people think they've gone on vacation to a paradise, but end up living a nightmare and seeing how their life is shortened to one day. That's why today, old. Remember that if you like the videos, you can support the channel by liking, subscribing, and activating notifications. It's free and it really helps me to keep growing. Now, let's recap. This is the story of Prisca and Guy Kappa, who together with their two kids, Maddox and Trent, decide to take a trip to a paradisical beach. As soon as they arrive at the hotel, they are greeted by the manager, and he shows them that an employee will be in charge of attending them. She gives them some welcome cocktails and they think it's the perfect place even though they found it randomly on the internet. While they enjoy their drinks, the little ones walk around the place until they reach the candy area. There, the youngest of the family makes friends with another kid who happens to be the manager's nephew. After that, they go to arrange all their belongings in their room to finally be able to go and enjoy the beach. There, the kids seem to become closer as they play. Trent finds it fun to ask people's professions, and in this way, he meets from policemen to dancers. The two boys become super friends, and they talk about what they're going to do when they grow up. But in the meantime, their older sister seems to feel excluded from the other kids their age. Anyway, this doesn't matter much. What does matter is that the same night, the couple starts arguing in their bedroom. Because there, we learn that this vacation was planned to be the last family trip since they are about to get divorced. And they also mention that she has an illness, but it doesn't seem serious. The thing is that to spend time, Trent plays to decipher a message in code that his new friend left him. After that, we see how in a desolate part of the beach, there are two young people who seem to be having fun. And the girl gets into the sea while the boy just watches. Although this is not important for now. The next day, we briefly meet a second family that is having breakfast in the same hotel. The woman talks about how she needs calcium because she has bone problems. She is accompanied by her little daughter, her husband Charles, and the grandmother with her dog. At the same time, the Kappa family is having breakfast and the hotel manager recommends them to go to a private beach isolated from the others because he says that he liked them from the beginning. And although he seems a friendly man, we see how when he is leaving, he treats his nephew pretty crappy. At that moment, a woman goes into convulsions, but is quickly treated by a doctor who is the husband of the second family. When they are about to go to the destination, both families meet and are taken by the hotel driver to a beautiful beach that is apparently far away. When they are already at the place, we see that the young man from the previous scenes is there, but the blonde girl is not. And apparently this guy is a famous rapper named Midsize Sedan that Maddox knows. Anyway, the kids spend the day playing and having fun with Kara, the girl from the other family, and the little Kappas discover that in the sand there are buried things from the hotel, although for the moment they don't give it much importance. What is important is that while playing in the water, Trent finds the body of the girl who was with the rapper. There they start talking to the guy who is kind of weird and he tells them that she went for a swim and he was just waiting. And finally, when they ask him why his nose is bleeding, he says that he has nothing to say. While Guy talks to this guy and tries to find out what happened, Prisca takes care of the kids. The problem is that her little boy tells her that his swimsuit is too tight, and she gets scared because she thinks he might be swelling because of some bacteria, and she goes to see the doctor. He was just attending to the grandmother who apparently, having seen the corpse, affected her so much that her chest began to hurt, although she plays it down. At that moment, two more people arrive. The woman whose name is Patricia and her husband, who when he found out that there was a corpse, wanted to go back but seems that something doesn't let him leave no matter how hard he tries. And when passing through the cave that separates this beach from the rest, he ends up fainting and waking up lying on the sand. The worst thing is that the old lady's condition seems to be getting worse. Still, Prisco worries more about something happening to her son, so she tries to convince Charles to go with them, but when he's about to go with the children, the grandmother dies. Meanwhile, the siblings were talking about how they looked different and that Trent had seen something shiny in the mountains, but for now, they don't think much of it. With the lady's incident, the newly arrived couple distracts them and the boy asks his typical question of what they do for a living and continues to talk and the man tries to guess their age but gets it wrong when he says the boy is 11 as he is only supposed to be 6 years old. The point is that the little ones have indeed grown up and don't look their age, to the extent that when their parents see them, they can't recognize them. On the other hand, Sedan tries to run away because they were accusing him of having killed the woman they found. So Charles follows him and when they are about to leave, they get a headache and end up fainting and back on the beach. After that, all the adults decide that the best way to escape would be for everyone to try different exits. Although it's not much use because they end up the same way. There the doctor seems to go crazy for a few seconds and cuts the rapper's face, but the wound heals in the blink of an eye. And there Sedan starts to get frustrated and says that he was on a trip because he was sick and just wanted to get some rest. And from that, they end up coming to the conclusion that it could be collective hysteria and that they can't leave because outside of that paradise, their lives are not the best. 
But all this talk ends because at that moment, the dog also dies. Then Patricia proposes to tell each other why they are there. So we discover that the other couple was not in a good moment either. But the worst thing is that Prisca begins to feel bad and her husband says that maybe it's because she has a tumor and quickly she faints. The thing is that they decide to operate on her, but as soon as they make the cut, it heals so that they keep the wound open with their hands. And what was a tumor of three centimeters ends up being the size of a melon. And as soon as they take it out, she feels better than ever. Meanwhile, the rapper goes to see the girl's corpse, but they are surprised to see that now only bones are left. Although this is a process that would take more than seven years. There they realize that on the beach, time passes differently. Even the adults already begin to have wrinkles and end up deducing that an hour is equivalent to one or two years, and that they can't leave because their bodies can't tolerate the change. Later we meet Kara and Trent again, who are now teenagers, and not only look different physically, but they talk about how their minds are changing, and they start having adult ideas. The point is that they end up getting more than friendly. And when they go to join the rest, we see that Kara is pregnant, although she thinks it was just a game and her belly only swelled because of the food. But within minutes, the baby is born, although the passage of time affects him and he ends up dying within seconds. In another madness attack, the doctor ends up murdering Sedan and fleeing the scene. Now everyone is afraid that he might hurt someone again and they end up taking out his knife and leaving him alone. So now Jaren, Patricia's husband, thinks a good option is to swim to the other shore. Plus his wife would soon need her epilepsy medication even though she hasn't had a seizure so far. As time goes on, Charles loses his sanity and begins to delirium and talk to nothingness as if he were talking to his mother. But on the other hand, the others are still looking for ways to get out, and they think that if they climb the rocks surrounding the place, they might avoid the headache effect. And although Trent wants to be the one to do it, they don't let him and discard that idea. Chatting, they discover that some member of the families is sick and begin to speculate that maybe that's why they're there. Plus, the hotel people have their papers and could make it look like they never left their house. After that, Maddox chats with her mom because now she knows they were going to separate and asks her if it was because of cheating. Her mom replies that she did cheat on Guy, but he doesn't know that, and that she did it because she thought she was going to die because she had a tumor. So after that, Maddox feels very overwhelmed and she goes into the sea, but the waves drag the body of the guy who had swam away. On the other hand, the parents of the baby decide to bury him, but Kara is frustrated because she feels that her whole life has passed and she couldn't enjoy it. So she starts to climb the rocks that surround the beach, and even though he insists her to stay with him, she continues and when she is about to reach the top, she faints and ends up falling and dying. Patricia wants to try to swim out again because she thinks her husband could be right. She just needed a float, but she has an epileptic seizure that kills her. And on top of that, the problems keep coming because Guy starts having vision problems and Prisca stops hearing out of one ear. At nightfall, they end up talking about Guy knowing about the cheating, but he doesn't take it badly because he only believes that she deserves the best man in the world, and they end up declaring that they still love each other. Among the things that were buried, the sibling discovers a notebook of someone who had been there and tried to find out what was going on. In it, they wrote the data of the people who were with him and apparently the magnetism of that area makes them age faster. And from that, Trent comes to the conclusion that the one way to counteract that magnetism would be to cover themselves with metal. But at that moment, he realizes that someone is recording them from the mountain. Already at night, we see that Charles totally loses his mind and starts attacking them. The mother tells her children to hide and they run into a cave. There is the doctor's wife, and the passage of time and her lack of calcium disfigured her body. But as they see her, she wants to kill them by throwing a stone at them. But when she picks it up, it falls on her arm and breaks it, and she keeps trying to kill them. But as she tries to catch them, she hits herself, and as her bones are totally weak, they break and kill her. For their part, the parents kill the doctor by cutting him with a rusty knife that the children had found buried in the ground. The Kappa family is reunited again, but the parents have grown old and Guy loses his memory. He doesn't even know why he's there. And playing down the importance of the matter, now they prefer to spend time together. Although the worst comes and he dies alongside his wife. By the next day, only the siblings are left alive, but they don't have much time either as they've continued to grow and are now adults. Maddox calculates that they only have half a day to live, but they still don't give up because they want to keep trying to get out, but not before having fun playing and building a sandcastle. At that moment, the boy says that his friend left him a message in code that he never got to decipher. He decides to do it for fun and discovers what could be the key to get out. So they think that if they go to where the coral is and circle around it, they might be able to get out of there. They dive into the sea and following the coral, they go through a water tunnel. Everything seemed to go well, but Trent goes ahead and his sister got stuck and looks like she is about to die. Later, we see that the one watching and filming them on the mountain was the driver of the van, and he claims that none of them survived because he stayed watching for more than a minute and they didn't get out. 
because apparently that was all part of an experiment they were doing. And we also learned that they weren't the first, and it looks like they won't be the last either. At the end, we see the manager in their laboratories, where they investigate different diseases to find a cure, and the reason for these experiments is to test these medicines that could change the world. An example of this was the woman with epilepsy, who was given these medicines and her seizures didn't appear in 16 hours on that beach. And their goal is to launch these remedies worldwide, but first they have to keep testing them. When the manager goes to receive new guests, we see how someone gives the notebook that was buried and contains all the information to a policeman. So he discovers that all these people are missing. As soon as the new guests arrive, the Kappa sibling who survived appears and warns them that they will be left there to die. And now they show how they were able to get away by following the corals and manage to escape. But the important thing is that the owners of the hotel and all those involved in these experiments were arrested. That was old! Don't forget to comment what movie you would like me to recap. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video.